Hi, dear students. Good morning. How are you? Excellent, isn't it? Hope all are safe at home. Shall I take a lesson about our body? I think you may know the parts of our body from the nursery section itself. Our body is made up of many organs. Say an example. Eye is an organ. Ear is an organ. Hand is an organ. Leg is an organ. Likewise, you can say several organs in your body. Can you imagine what if an organ is not in your body? We cannot imagine that, isn't it? Because each organ has its own function. For example, can you do any work without hands? No. What are the works you do with hands? Write, eat, push, pull, play, etc. Are the works you do with hands. Next, we can say about eye. Eye is an organ. What are the functions of eye? You know. The main function of eye is to see. Likewise, there are many organs in our body. Leg, ear, finger, toes, etc. All organs are having their own function. So, now we will discuss about the organs that you have studied in detail. Some organs are placed externally. That is, we can see them outside. They are called external organs. For example, eye, ear, hand, leg, etc. Some organs are placed internally. We cannot see that organs externally. They are called internal organs. Example, brain, heart, Lungs, abdomen, liver, etc. Now we have studied only one point that is, our body is made up of internal and external organs. The organs which are placed externally are called external organs. The organs which we cannot see externally are called internal organs. Otherwise, it's also defined as the organ placed or situated inside our body. Now, we can learn about some internal organs. Brain. Have you heard about brain? Do you know where it is placed? Brain is an internal organ. It is placed inside our head. The brain helps other organs to work. It helps us to think and remember. So, the question is, what are the functions of brain? The brain helps other organs to work. It also helps us to think and remember. You also repeat with me. The brain helps other organs to work. It helps us to think and remember. Once more I say, what are the functions of brain? The brain helps other organs to work. It also helps us to think and remember. You repeat several times. Now you learned about brain. Next, we have to study about heart. Heart is also an internal organ. The heart is situated on the left side of our chest. Heart is a muscular organ. The heart pumps blood to all parts of our body. Normally, the heart beats 72 times per minute. All of your homes are having clock or mobile. The clock is having three hands or needles. 
first hand or needle that is small hand represents or denotes our second hand or long needle represents or denotes minutes and the third thin needle represents second hand you know 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds children you do this activity you press your inner side of the palm to your brothers or fathers or anyone's left side of the chest you can feel the heart beat then you look into the clock the second hand needle which runs continuously on the surface of the clock once it comes to the digit 12 you can start to count the heart beat and it finishes one round when it comes 12 again stop counting surely your count will be between 70 and 75 by repeating this process you will get the same count that is between 70 and 75 again so you will get a thorough knowledge about heart beat have you ever been to a hospital and met a doctor there you might have seen one instrument used to by the doctor to check your heart beat do you know what it is it is called stethoscope or stethoscope repeat stethoscope yes it is stethoscope <clears throat> once more i say about the main points of heart heart beats 72 times per minute how many times the heart beats 72 times how many times the heart beats 72 times doctors use stethoscope to hear the heart beat what do doctor used to hear the heart beat stethoscope this is all for today see you in the next class thank you